Hello everybody, so we are getting ready to go out and um, Sarah's lost her tooth this morning, so let me show you. So her front tooth has come out, whoop whoop, yeah, so she's very excited for the tooth fairy to visit later on. Uh, all the girls are getting dressed up for um, a birthday party. So it's my little nephew's uh, fourth birthday, so the girls, well he's having a um, a pirate themed birthday party and then uh, Nevea's also got a birthday party to go to. Uh, she's going to a different one she's got a swimming party but it's at the same time so uh usual logistics of trying to sort everything out and try and get everybody where they need to be on time so we're just about to get them all into the car bouncing on a huge pirate bouncy castle had a lot of fun uh, but they are very very hot and sweaty now and so we're now on our way what are we going to do pick, pick up Nevea from Bricks and break some swim pool yeah so we're going to go and pick up Nevea because she will um, be finishing her birthday party soon um, and then I guess we'll be making a choice as to what we're going to do this afternoon and, and oh. we got these yeah. from the birthday bag yeah I'm cool and I got to meet Darcy as well so you will have caught one of our uh, previous videos of the wedding of Mr and Mrs Howes they now have a beautiful daughter called Darcy so managed to meet her and get cuddles which is pretty cool um, and basically be the person to hold sleeping babies today which is um, quite nice to know that I've still got it <laughs> I have not lost the skill um, so yeah Right, let's go and get Nevaeh then, shall we girls? Yes! yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> now nice cup of tea um i was gonna record what never thought of her birthday party but she's just gone straight back out uh we do have soraya here <laughs> she is very tired after the party she fell asleep in the car so she's just taking a few minutes to chill and relax no, and well. oh apparently she doesn't feel very well i think it's because she's Um, so yeah, now we're just going to chill out for a little bit. Mark and I have actually got some other videos um, to do so you can catch up with those shortly. Um, and then yeah, just get on with normal day to day, cooking dinner, all that type of stuff. So yeah, see you in a bit. Good morning everybody. So we only have, um, we only have Nevea at school today. Um, all the rest of the girls are not feeling very well, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, actually, Mark and I started having stomach ache last night, which is also not good, and that's half of the things that the girls are complaining of. I've got Alina with me, because uh, she wanted to take Nevea to school uh, with me. So we've just dropped her off, we're going back now. Mark is working from home today. Um, I have a ton of things to do, but now I'm going to need to sort out some work for the girls as well. So I'm just going to go through that. Basically, because we had 
so much of an issue with the girls not wanting to attend school. Um, we got to the point where even at home we would set some amount of work for them that it wasn't just like a kind of jolly it wasn't something where they could just play the playstation all day or watch television because it almost became or it felt like it was becoming something that it, <laughs> of an excuse if that makes sense um so we do make sure that we try and do that just to lessen that um i mean it's super sweet that the girls want to spend that much time with me i'm <laughs> I'm always surprised I would have kind of thought that they'd want to get away and be at school um, but that's not really the case so yeah so I'm now going to go um, and try and uh, sort some of that for them today uh, we do still have subscriptions for things like reading eggs which I absolutely love um, and the girls really enjoy doing it it also helps me because it gives me a report of the things that maybe they are doing really well what they're struggling with where they're at um, which is really good um they also now have access to letter join that's something that that's come through from the school it's such a fun game when yeah you get to practice letters and join them. yeah so they're practicing cursive writing um they also have tt rock stars uh through the school so those are the, um those are the types of things that we'll be utilizing today um and go from there so i'm gonna head on back with alina now yeah Ready to go, Alina? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so Grace has just brought her sheet to me, um, and I thought we could go through this. So what's your question, sweetie? Um, I, I don't really know what it means by quarter to five. Okay, where's the sheet that Daddy gave you? Um, you put it under here. So, Daddy's given you this sheet, and what was he explaining in this sheet? Um, he said that the... Big hand um, represents all the minutes, and the little hand represents um, the hours. Mm -hmm. And that um, when it says like quarter to five, yeah, it doesn't actually mean five. It's like one less. Yeah, it so means like, that you've got fifteen minutes until the next hour. Yeah. Okay. So what's your instructions on here? You're having to do you're having to work out what the colours are. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> if it's not five o'clock, if you know that you haven't got to five o'clock and you know that you've got fifteen minutes to get to five o'clock, which one of these clocks is the one that represents quarter to five? That one? So this one is <clears throat> showing the Long hand on what number? Oh, three. Mm -hmm. So that would be 15, wouldn't it? Because that's a quarter of the clock. That's six is half of the clock. Nine is three quarters of the clock. And then when you get to 12, it goes back to the hour. So if you know that information, which one? So we know that we're not quite on five, but we're nearly on five. And we've got 15 minutes, which is a quarter of an hour to the next one. Well done. So what colour do you need to do it? Yellow. Very good. Thanks. You're more than welcome, sweetie. So I'm currently um, doing some work here and um, some research on my desk. I've got two of the girls over on the bed. Let me just see if I can turn them. So Alina and Grace have decided to do their work on the bed. Um, now what's really interesting about this <coughs> is... Sorry, camera angle. I've not asked them. I haven't set them any work just yet, um, but what they've done is they've taken the folders that we did when we were doing our homeschooling trial. I love homeschool. Um, and they have, off their own back, chosen some of the work that we had then um, and started doing things, which I think is awesome. And this also shows you that our children are not against learning, they love learning. We just need to help do it in the right way. So, for example, Alina was struggling earlier with doing fractions. And, and I so... Got, I just I got confused. Um, um, so, um, there's the top one, and I never knew that was the, the bottom one. Uh-huh. And then I've done another one at the top. Oh, okay. Um, so we can look at that in a second. Um, so, 
yeah she was struggling with fractions earlier and so we got some pens and then divided pens into different um piles and so that she could work out the fractions it's just all those types of things that sometimes they don't do in school <laughs> um and sometimes they need that tangible something to be able to do it and logically work out why that happens sometimes especially for alina if she doesn't know the why it, it kind of it almost stops the learning process i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys at all but yeah so they want to learn um it's just that the way that they have been in school um hasn't necessarily suited them particularly so yeah that's what we're doing saray is downstairs next to mark um she's doing some work down there and obviously nevea is at school and now i need to crack on